Kanye West may be insistent in his claims he'll be reuniting with Kim Kardashian before the week is out, but sadly it seems she's not got the memo as she cozied up to Pete Davidson. Just in time for Valentine's Day, eh, it's a funny old time in showbiz, when is it not, we suppose, with Kanye's relationship with Julia Fox apparently hitting the skids faster than it came on, with rapper Yee continuing to ask Kim for a reunion, very pubically. From begging for Kim back on Instagram checks watch this morning, having previously shared photos from her recent US Vogue shoot with their four children, North, Saint, Sam and Chicago, to switching up his songs to ask his ex-wife to come back to him, Kanye is doing the most to get her back. But it just doesn't seem to be sticking, with Kim previously requesting an immediate termination of marriage, stating no reconciliation is of any value at this time, while appearing to go from strength to strength with Saturday Night Live comedian Pete. While he was professing his love for Kim on Sunday, the reality star was chilling, literally, by the looks of her various puffer coat changes, in New York with Pete, as they put on quite the loved up display and sharing a kiss at celeb favored Noshery Cipriani. Insert joke about it being freezing on the East Coast but that having no effect on the couple's relationship heating up. While they've kept their blossoming love somewhat in the down low, you know, compared to Kanye and Julia, Pete and Kim were seen sharing a kiss in the middle of the restaurant, in scenes that will no doubt have Kanye taking to his notes app to bash out another all caps Instagram message. The pair were seen in great spirits eating with pals Lala Anthony and Simon Huck before they reportedly headed to a Super Bowl party together. It comes mere moments after Pete publicly described Kim, 41, as his girlfriend for the first time since they were first linked in October, following Kim's SNL hosting slot. The 28-year-old recently spoke to People, the TV show, host Kay Adams about what he gets up to in his spare time and it was truly insightful. Well, I don't really have Instagram, I don't have Instagram or Twitter or any of that stuff. So, most of my daily life is getting into cars and showing up to a set, Pete said. He then dropped the all-important G-bomb, adding, or, if I'm off, I just either hang with my friends or chill with my girlfriend inside. So I don't do much, meanwhile, Kim opened up to Vogue US about the breakdown of her marriage to Yee, last week shedding light on how her outlook changed over the last few years, as she learned to become her own cheerleader. For so long, I did what made other people happy. And I think in the last two years I decided, I'm going to make myself happy. And that feels really good, she told the publication, and even if that created changes and caused my divorce, I think it's important to be honest with yourself about what really makes you happy. I've chosen myself. I think it's okay to choose you. My 40s are about being team me. I'm going to eat well. I'm going to work out. I'm going to have more fun, spend more time with my kids and the people who make me happy. I'm going to put my phone down. Unfollow if I don't want to see something on Instagram. Chloe came up with the best phrase for that yesterday. She said, post and ghost. And while she also spoke of her co-parenting efforts with Kanye and how she tries to lead a good example for their children, the pair were locked in a bitter social media war of words in the days leading up to her interview, with Kim firing back in a lengthy statement and accusing Kanye of constant attacks. 